Hello and welcome to this month's Warriors HQ, the official midweek show of the Guinness Pro 12 Champions. After winning the Guinness Pro 12 title in Belfast at the end of May, the squad then returned to Glasgow to parade the Pro 12 trophy in front of supporters in George Square. As a child, you would wait and watch from far away. But you always knew that you'd be the one. Yeah, it's surreal in the sense we've won it, we've finally done what our, our uh, aim was for the season. But a few boys here already back training, working hard for next season. Scheme of all the things that you would change, but it was just a dream. See the day that this happened in Glasgow. Ah, oh, it's incredible, isn't it? I mean, uh, just coming around the corner and seeing the amount of people that were in George Square. Well, it's been a phenomenal week, and this just kind of rounds it off. Like, well, look at the turnout; it's incredible, and it's good to see how police people are, how happy people are to see this as well. It's almost a little bit surreal, everything that's going on in the last week, but then like something like this just makes you realise what we've done, and if we've got to use this, we've got to push rugby on and. Uh, I mean, rugby in Glasgow and in Scotland go from strength to strength. It's absolutely everything to me. Fantastic, great result, well deserved. Um, could be happier for them. I love Glasgow Warriors and they're absolutely great for Scotland. We are Warriors. We are Warriors. We are Warriors. We thank you for your support. You really helped us over the line, and we've got so many good memories from that day. But the, the pictures with the flags, when we scoring those tries behind the post, was will live for us for, forever. Uh, I just want to say we are, we are going to work even harder next season, and uh, next season started yesterday, so we're at day two of pre-season already, uh, and the players are working really hard. We're going to have to work harder, but this is just the start of the journey. And with the players we have, um, we can achieve a lot of great things. And it'll be great to have you along with us for the ride. So thanks again for your support. And we'll see you first game of the season. Thank you. Through this, it's just incredible, isn't it? It is, it's, it's great. I think um, when we were getting the bus from friends today, to hear the people lying in the streets and cheering us, and other cars and taxis tooting their horn, um, and then to come uh, out to George Square and see so many flags, see so many supporters, it, it's great. And it was good to have the players back to get together. Um, obviously, it's been, been 11, 10, 11 days since the final, and some guys have uh, been on holiday, so to be back as a group um, and share that with supporters is special. The Glasgow Warriors squad returned for pre-season training a fortnight ago and before they joined up with the USA and Italy squads ahead of the World Cup, we caught up with new signings Greg Peterson and Simone Favreau. Greg, welcome to Glasgow Warriors. Why did you sign for the club? Um, it seemed like a very good culture. You know, uh, Gregor told me the attitude, the culture, the team, what they're trying to build towards in the next few years and stuff and it, it, it was very much a perfect fit for me. Um, you know, I'm very... I'd, I'm a very hard-working person and, um, you know, that's a key feature of the team and, um, 
yeah, just the past few years, the success, success you've had and the, the drive from the coaching staff, I can only see that getting a lot better, yeah. What are your aims here at Glasgow Warriors? Um, just to, up to here to play good, consistent rugby. I haven't been able to do that the past couple of years at a high level, and that's really what I want to be able to do, get some continuity um, and play good rugby for this team and you know, hopefully represent, represent the jersey very well. Simone, welcome to Glasgow Warriors. What was your thinking behind signing for the club? Uh, I'm going in a club then is playing the, the final. It was a competitive club, uh, a competitive team in Europe, Europe Cup. So I'm going to, I'm coming here to win something. And I know that this is the club that want to win, I want to win, I want to be in the, in the top. You've played against Glasgow Warriors a few times. How have you found that experience? I found a club that I play really good. Didn't do maybe because of they played against us. They didn't do something great in imaginary. But everything that they do, they would, they did perfect. It was a tough game to play every time against them because uh, they play really well. It's a tough, but uh, doing very well. I love Scotland because of something uh, similar. I come from to northeast uh, Italy, and we are proudly people. We are strong, and the Scottish are like that. Are so proud of the of uh, of the country, and also I love the accent. It's strong. You can feel passion when the Scottish talks. And with the World Cup um, looming, are you hoping to be involved in that? I hope so. Right now. Uh, I will be in the camp of uh, of Italy for the World Cup. I hope to be in the World Cup because I'm Italian and I think then uh, all the rugby players then uh, start to be play this sport, uh, start to dream uh, to be in the, involved in the World Cup, and that's what I dream. I never been in the World Cup, and I dream to fight for my. Uh, for my country in the World Cup. Don't forget, Simone Favreau and Italy will be taking on Scotland in a summer test ahead of the Rugby World Cup at BT Moneyfield on Saturday the 29th of August. Tickets are available now from scottishrugby.org. Last week, the Rugby World Cup trophy visited Scotland and supporters had an opportunity to get their picture taken with the Webb Ellis Cup along with the Guinness Pro 12 trophy. During pre-season, Warriors HQ will be available at 5pm on the last Wednesday of each month until September at youtube.com forward slash Glasgow Warriors.